Hi there. Welcome to my impromptu video at Mauro's Arch. So Mauro's Arch is a precinct uh, next to Santon. I don't know if it actually forms part of Santon, but it's next to Santon, I think. Um, it's a collection of shops, a lot of restaurants over here, hotels. Um, it's quite a nice and close area to just come to and visit, especially when the sun is out, like today, it's the second day of spring, so it's really nice to be out. Um, and I think I've actually done a video, a little bit of a video about this two years ago. I did a Christmas video about the Christmas lights. They have beautiful Christmas lights here in December. So they do it every year. So if you haven't seen them before, please make sure you just check out their Facebook page so you know when the Christmas lights are on. But yeah, it's a really cool spot to hang out, especially in spring as it is today. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about what it's about, what you can find here. And yeah. Okay, so over here behind me, the street over here is probably uh, the most popular street in terms of restaurants and places to eat. Um, the other popular place will be at the Piazza, which is over on the other side, but I'll show you that later. So this is where quite a bit of the restaurants are. So I'm just going to walk down and I'll show you a couple of the good ones that I know and I've experienced. So right over here in the corner, we have Paul, which is a boulangerie and patisserie or a cafe. Okay, so interesting fact about Paul that I found out recently. I saw it uh, on somebody's YouTube video, an international YouTube uh, YouTuber's video, and I thought, oh, there's a Paul on that video. I didn't know they also had, a, also had a Paul in other countries. And then I looked it up and found out it's actually a French cafe, and it's in 47 countries around the world. So it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it wasn't actually a South African brand, but not. So this is a cafe, pretty nice. People like to come here, have coffee, sit, chill out. Um, a really nice spot. And then right over on the other side, we have Starbucks. Okay, right behind me, over here, is Rhodesia. I'll tell you a bit about Rhodesia just now. Do you want to be on my video? <laughs> so those of you who don't know, Rhodesia is like Portuguese Brazilian cuisine. Um, it's a carnivore's place. So if you're a meat eater, this is the pla place to go. You get unlimited servings of all sorts of meat, but you can also have a set menu. It's a really, really uh, cool place. They have really nice, uh, obviously Brazilian or Portuguese music playing. Sometimes they have li live bands. I think it's on the weekends they have live bands playing in there. It's not the kind of place you want to come to for a quiet night out because uh, the music does get kind of loud. So if you're looking for something like a quiet <laughs> romantic dinner or something like that, uh, it is a little bit loud, uh, especially after nine. People get up and dance and everything. So, But if you want to have fun, you want to chill out, you want to drink, have lots of meat to eat, lovely restaurant. I'm not sure why they have all these white plants around here. Must be some theme going on. Just some shops across the street. La Parada also a good restaurant. I haven't been to this one so I can't say much about it. As you can see, all this is restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Another place called Cuisine. Lots of wine it looks like in here. Just want to show you further down there, there's a lovely African restaurant called Moya's. They do like a selection of African food. You can get really exotic stuff as well, like um, crocodile meat, mopani worms. <laughs> stuff that you wouldn't wouldn't normally get in a restaurant. So that's one that's special as well that is over here. Okay, before we get to Moyo's, <laughs> one more stop. This is the drinking spot over here. It's called Tiger's Milk Kitchen and Bar. Let me just walk across. This is a popular um, 
I would say it's a pub, I think. I think that's the right word. It's a pub. There are several of them in, I know in Johannesburg. I think there's one in Cape Town that I've seen as well, but gets really busy, really full, especially on the weekends and evenings. Tiger's Milk. Behind me here is actually where Moya's used to be. It seems that it's not here anymore. It's changed to, what's this called? It's changed to Istanbul Kebab, which is obviously a Turkish restaurant. So I guess they've moved. Oh, well, that's a pity. I don't know if they have any African restaurants here now anymore, but it must be popular because there are quite a few people outside. Um, <laughs> a Turkish restaurant, I guess. This is a beautiful art piece. You'll find a number of these scattered around the precinct. And this African Pride is a hotel as well as conferencing facilities. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the other side so you can see the piazza side. Oh I see they're doing photos here. It's one of those photo things. I said lots of these sculptures around here. This must be an exhibition. Wow, look at this. And then over here we have the Maros Gallery. Around the corner here we have the Protea Hotel Fire and Ice. That's the second hotel in the precinct. Yes, yeah, so that's the Fire and Ice Hotel. The nice thing about staying here is you have everything literally at your doorstep. So you can stay at the hotel, go out and drink yourself silly at Tiger's Milk, and then crawl back to your bed at the hotel. You don't have to worry about driving anywhere or catching an Uber anywhere, and it's very safe over here. As you can see, that's the security gate to get in behind me there. And then here, we have Daytona, where they sell supercars. This is the place that's not for someone on my budget. <laughs> okay, let me go to the piazza now. Then if I walk through here, as you can see, left and right is where the clothing shops, etc., are. So this is the more part of the precinct. Okay, so at this mall section, you'll find what you typically find at a mall, which is shops, shops, and more shops. So I'm not going to show you too much of this side, you know. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit more at the piazza, but there's so much music there that I'll get a copyright um, thing on my, on my video, so I couldn't talk there, but that was the piazza. But that's pretty much it, that's Mauro's Arch. Um, of course, there's a lot more. I can't go everywhere, so you've got to come here and see it for yourself. But really lovely place, so if you're ever in Johannesburg, this is definitely one to visit. Otherwise, <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>
then we have our almonds. Yes. Almonds. Oh, yes. almonds. And we also have cashews here. Yeah, we nuts. That's almonds. the name of the company. We sell nuts so that are roasted and then well. they coated in caramel. Okay. And are you stationed here? Yes, Where can you stationed find here. Every day from Monday to Sunday. Okay. And are you locally owned? Yes, locally owned. My bosses are right there. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, it tastes really good. You're All the best. Welcome. Thanks thank for your time. You. Bye. Never say no to a free night. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>